Life on a dairy farm comes with few certainties, but each morning there are two. The sun will rise, and the cows must be milked. This is true 365 days a year, and it's no different here on Locust Air Farm in Carroll County, home to the Haynes family and a herd of 150 cows. I normally work at least 13 to 14 hours a day. Farming in general looks addictive. You just love doing it, so you keep doing it. Farmer Mike Haynes has been milking cows here in Tawnytown for nearly half a century. He knows as well as anyone that when it comes to milk prices, what farmers get paid, the only certainty is uncertainty. No, we have no choice in what we get. We're paid on and based on the national average of what milk is worth. The dairy economy is complicated to say the least, but some of the ups and downs are classic supply and demand. Over the past decade, supply has increased about 2%, thanks to good genetics and cow nutrition. At the same time, demand has decreased as consumers choose dairy substitutes instead of milk. Throw in an unfavorable global market, and you have the perfect storm. And when prices are low, as they have been for more than three years, all the costs of running a farm, seed, equipment, veterinary bills, are still there. The numbers aren't pretty, and Mike worries about his son, Ryan, who plans to take over the farm. Farmers are getting older and older, and it's just no future for young people in the business. It's scary, really. Maryland has been losing dairy farms for decades. In 1990, there were 1,400 of them, and today, there are fewer than 400. 24 closed between September 2017 and May 2018, a loss of about 6% in just eight months. As you lose a dairy farmer, you're gonna to start to lose some of your farm services, such as veterinarians, tractor dealerships, fertilizer and seed suppliers, as well as it has an impact on local banks, restaurants, because farmers tend to spend their money locally. And for the farmers, leaving the industry isn't just leaving a job, it's leaving a lifestyle and a heritage. Just ask 20-year-old Ellie Grossnickel of Ellerton View Farm in Frederick County. Not only is it a business, but the farmers really care about their animals because it takes a lot of dedication to want to work with animals for 365 days a year. This particular day, Ellie and her 17-year-old brother, Luke, guide the family's herd through the afternoon milking. I'm one of the only ones in our school that lives and like works on a farm, so it's neat to be able to stand out from everyone. If you ask his father, Donnie, who's been farming in this valley near Myersville his entire life, it wasn't always this way. Well, when I was growing up, almost all these farms in the valley were milk cows. As the years went on, they kind of slowly sold out. All four of the Gross Nickel kids are pursuing careers in agriculture. But Luke, the youngest, is the one that plans to take over the farm. I've always known that I've wanted to take over the farm ever since I could remember. I've been saying I wanted to take over the farm. Where some jobs, you, you know what you're going to get paid every, every week. And farmers, the prices of milk are always going up and down. Prices of crops are always going up and down. And so there's always that worry. A worry his mother, Donna Lee, shares. I worry about the future of farming, but I have great faith in the farm. I know that the farm will always be around, and I know that from the beginning there's been ups and downs, and you have to be very patient and have lots of perseverance to live on a farm. As for Ellie, she heads to Virginia Tech in the fall to pursue a degree in dairy science and communications. She hasn't decided if she'll come back to the farm, but she knows she wants to advocate for the dairy industry. Wherever I go in life, I won't separate myself from the farm just because I love it so entirely. And it's so fulfilling to be in a business that 
you know, everybody needs to eat. And so a farmer provides that and it's very satisfying for myself and I think for my family just to know that we're contributing to all of society. And at the end of the day, perhaps it's this certainty, faith in purpose that matters most.